hi friends in this video I'm gonna show you how to exploit manually SQL injection and uh, we'll do it manually so as to learn uh, how actually the things work instead we can use uh, automated tools like uh, SQL injection but uh, they are good they are for those people who actually know how the things work because sometimes uh, there might be some cases where SQL injection might not be able to where SQL map might not be able to determine the things to determine the vulnerability or exploit it so in those cases we need to actually figure out what's exactly happening and uh, why the automated tools are not uh, detecting the vulnerability or are able to exploit it so that's very important for you to understand how actually the things work that's why in this video i'm going to show you how to manually do it so that we can learn the basics so if we see there is a simple functionality provided by this uh, web application and uh, this is quite simple we just need to enter a numeric uh, user id here and uh, it will execute some query uh, in the backend database and will provide us with the output so if we insert some if we input some uh, numeric uh, number like this too we get uh, the data about the user associated with this user id too so that's first name is Gordon and surname is Brown. So what exactly happening is uh, in the back end a query like this uh, select first name last name from some table we don't know the table name where and this where clause specifies this user ID should be equal to the ID which we are passing to the input field. So if we pass one we get uh, uh, the details regarding uh, the user having the user ID one and so on so now uh, if we see uh, how to exploit it uh, in PHP and uh, in other languages as well uh, these single quotes these are used uh, for uh, for uh, making a comparison like uh, which is you can see here user id equal to this and if we pass in uh, something for user id like uh, uh, this we, we put in some value for id let's say we put two and then we pass in a single code then this will break the sql injection uh, um, sql query syntax and uh, uh, will get the uh, error message and uh, that's one of the easiest way of uh, uh, finding or detecting the SQL injection so if we just put uh, put in like one a single quote or double quote and we get uh, uh, error from the um, web interface or functionality saying your SQL syntax is incorrect then there are uh, a good chances of uh, SQL injection being present so if we just put in single quote here we see this uh, we have syntax error near uh, at line 1 so that means uh, we probably have uh, SQL injection vulnerability here and uh, if uh, we try something like uh, something like this if we put in a single quote or one equal one that will uh, make all queries uh, mm, true and what i mean is if we put in this thing instead of the id if we put in single quote or one equal one then it will make all these conditions true where user id is equal to nothing that's definitely gonna be false but this or clause this will make it true because uh, this one equal to one is always gonna be true and if uh, uh, how the or how the or performs is how or works is like this if a or b that means if it is true or if it is true 
then the condition is gonna be true so in this case this user id equal to something that's gonna be false but this one equal to one is always going to be is always going to be true that means uh, we'll get uh, info regarding all the users present in the database so if we try this uh, we might get the info but again uh, this single code this is gonna uh, create the sql syntax error here as well so we need we need to actually comment the rest of the portion and uh, in SQL, uh, we we can comment uh, in two ways. We can comment using has, just like this, or we can comment using uh, this thing. And we have, and if we are commenting using double dashes, we need to ensure that we have a space and then some text after this uh, this double dashes to ensure that uh, this is a comment else if we don't have a space between them then uh, it won't be considered as a comment so while doing this uh, you have to be you have to be sure that there is a space between this so let's just go and try this payload and we will be adding has to comment and if we try it we get all the users there is we get info of all the users uh, there are actually five users in the database and we get a uh, first name and surname of all now going further to exploit it how we can exploit it further and dump the complete database uh, that's i'm gonna show you now so we know at this point that uh, the um, server is vulnerable and we are also able to retrieve data of some users now our goal is to dump uh, their passwords and for this first we need to determine uh, how many number of columns uh, the current sql uh, query is uh, returning and what I mean from this is uh, we are I'm just assuming that uh, this is running something like this okay but uh, I might not be correct because uh, there might be other things uh, in the when you see in uh, complex uh, websites they retrieve a lot of info regarding the user but uh, uh, displays actually a few ones so there might not be a chance that they are actually just retrieving these two things and what I mean to say let's say they might be retrieving something else like uh, their uh, phone number their last login and something else so we need to actually figure out first how many number of columns the server is the query is returning so as to um, further exploit the database so we do this by using uh, something called order by clause and what this order by clause does is uh, let's say select something let's say we just do select star from some table order by uh, let's say two so what this query will do is uh, it will select everything from some table name table and then it will order by it will order it by two that means it will short it in ascending order by two and we will use this order by clause to determine the number of uh, columns written by the query if uh, we put in here some column like four which doesn't exist uh, in the database or it which isn't uh, mm, written by this query uh, what i mean to say is let's say we are retrieving three columns uh, in, from this query and we uh, give it a four uh, for the order by clause and it will return a syntax error for the sql query and that way uh, we'll gonna come to know that okay uh, this uh, query isn't returning that much column so we can downgrade our number and try each and every one every number so we can start with something like 10 
then 20, then 40, depending upon we are getting success or failure, we can adjust this number. So let's just try here with 5, So we get error that means uh, there are not that much columns in this um, query written by this query. So we can try it with uh, 3, let's see, okay again we are getting this error, let's try it with 2 and we get the success. So there are two actually there are two columns written by this. Um, query and these are these first name and last name as we can see from here it's a quite uh, easy easy to exploit uh, interface and uh, that's why we can see it quite easily but uh, if uh, when we are uh, exploiting a complex uh, website we might not able to see this uh, that easily and we have to figure out this using the order by clause so we now know the server is returning the query is returning mm, two columns now uh, we will use it to further exploit it by using union based queries So we are going to now run this query and what this query will do is uh, uh, this union clause uh, this will uh, concatenate uh, another SQL query with the preceding one so we will be executing now two queries simultaneously and this is just because of this union. So we are just selecting null comma null from this information schema and uh, uh, for MySQL like databases uh, all the information of the databases is stored in this information schema so we're gonna use the tables table from information schema and this contains some variables like table name uh, which uh, it contains some variable like table name and this table name will be uh, quite handy for us to retrieve the uh, tables in the current database so let's just run this and see if the query succeeds and we get error so why we are getting error uh, let's try to fix it or one equal to one union select null comma null from information schema okay let's try it with information schema information schema doesn't exist and that's strange check information underscore schema let's try something else let's try one comma two from let's see if it works Okay, it works so I don't know why that error was coming but uh, okay now it's running so what we did is uh, from this table tables 
in the information schema uh, we just selected this one and two um, constant values and why we did it uh, we just want to know which uh, columns which uh, columns returned by the query are printable on the screen and by this I mean uh, look at this uh, look at the last row it says first name is one and surname is two that means uh, the query is returning uh, two columns actually and the very first column is this first name which is printing here and the second column is this surname which is printing here and uh, to make this output more clear I'm gonna do this one equal to zero and it will this will make this statement false and it won't return anything so all we will see is the output of the second query after this union okay so now it's quite clear and uh, visible so we are returning two queries two columns uh, first is uh, first name second is surname now uh, we can proceed to determine the tables in the current uh, database and we will use this table name variable from this uh, inf uh, information schema dot tables and what it's going to do is uh, print all the tables in the current database so let's just go with it and here we see there are a lot of tables in it including this tables as well and this tables inside information schema contains information regarding all the tables in the current uh, database and we get uh, a ton of tables now if we see If we see uh, there is a table with this name users it's gone I don't know where it's gone let me search it Okay, so we have got uh, a table with this name user Alright, so we have got this uh, table named users and uh, that's actually the exact uh, actual table in which the information of our users is stored so our next task so our next task is to identify the columns inside this table users so let's try to do it and now we need to use the columns uh, inside information schema and we are gonna print the column name so this will print all the columns inside uh, current uh, database so let's just do it okay fine it returned uh, a ton of columns now to print columns uh, from the particular table users we will use this where clause so we will put in where table name is uh, users so it will print only the columns from the table users so if we try and we get all the um, all the columns from the table uh, users so this is ID, password, login, secret, activation code, reset code and there are many. So our focus is to find out this user ID, first name, last name and password. So 
let's just try to print uh, this first name and password so how we are going to do this is uh, quite simple we just need to make a query like this uh, we union select first name let's just select first name comma password from the table users and let's just try to execute it okay we get this so these are the username these are the first names actually and these are the hashed passwords of them and uh, that's a normal practice uh, passwords are generally stored in hashed form hashed format so that uh, even if uh, somebody's database is breached uh, the passwords remain um, quite protected so we can uh, similarly put in uh, whatever we want in this query and uh, uh, we can uh, dump the complete database uh, in a similar way so i hope you like it and uh, uh, you'll tell me um, if you enjoyed it and uh, comment uh, below so that uh, i can know um, how i'm doing and uh, if you want me to improve something please comment me uh, please comment in the comment box thanks for watching Please subscribe to my channel at Maral Cost and we'll see you in the next video.